Really, Sony? Really? Another remake, bro? Like, come on, man. At this point, are we being pranked right now? Really? Come on, man. Like, uh, I, I don't even know what to say. At this point, bro, I don't even know what to say. Is this a joke? Are we being pranked right now? Like, like what are we doing here this generation? Like, what, like I was just messing around but I may have jinxed. <laughs> I may have jinxed Sony ponies and Sony fanboys. Like I was just joking. Like I was just joking, bro. Like I was like, man, all they're gonna do this whole entire generation is remakes and remasters. Wow, really? 2017 game. This is like the second person that I've seen said that already. So are we really going to do another Horizon Zero done? Like remake re all so soon? Like this ain't even, usually it should be like PS6. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be PS5. If we were going to do it, it should be a PS6. So you, you can really see like, okay, they done took it to a, another generation. Really? Are you serious right now? This got to be a joke. I'm just waiting to hear like Ashen Kutcher jump out of the bushes on MTV uh, Punked and be like, bro, I'm just joking. I'm really just joking right now, bro. I would never just keep doing all these remakes and remasters on a premium console. You're charging a premium price tag, bro. A premium price tag. Like everything is marked up to the max to the tenor these decepticons like i said before over there sony bro like who is really running the show over there at sony is it a bunch of kids like is it like minors like kids that don't know how to think beyond you know what i'm saying they, they're not creative like they don't have the money they don't have the finance they don't have the drive the ambition they don't have the creators the designers the game designer what is the problem here what is when have it ever became an issue to sony to really be more creative more innovative and that's what they always say oh we believe in generations we believe in this we believe in that we believe in generations but okay if you believe in generations you didn't say you believe in remakes remasters you say you believe in generations <laughs> i am so oh my goodness wow really another remake like back to back to back like bro like can we do anything you know what it is bro because this is what happens when your company panics when they panic they don't know what to do so it's just like okay we know once 2023 hit xbox is completely taking over that year 2023 we already know pc and xbox hands down they want it there's nothing going to come out that's going to be able to compete with starfield redfall if stalker 2 you know and so many more uh forza motorsports um so many more the, the list just goes on and on and on triple a banger after triple a banger there's they there's no competition but if they do a remake they can squeeze a remake in every year so sony is trying to cheat they're trying to cheat the game they're trying to cheat the game bro they like they're trying to say okay we're gonna make it for ps5 because we know it's gonna take 
three to four years to bring another Spider-Man out, another big AAA banger like God of War, Last of Us. It's going to take a long time, Uncharted. It's going to take a very long time to make those games. So we're going to have to squeeze these remakes and remasters in there. They're just calling them remakes now because they have better hardware. So they, they can make the cutscenes look better. So that is another cheat way. You still have the remaster play. The gameplay is remastered, but the cutscenes is a remake. So basically, when the cutscene come in, it looks like a movie. So you're thinking like, oh wow, the games look so amazing. No, the whole entire game is not remade because you have so many people getting vouched for that, bro. They don't believe that the whole entire game is remade. They don't. You can ask them. They're all over the internet. You can ask, do you feel like it's worth $70, bro? Like, really? Do you really feel like these games are worth $70? Like, come on now. Let's be real for a second. These low-down, grimy, scheming, shady Sony. Back to their old ways, bro. And this Sony has got to be the most gangster is just thuggish, ruggish. <laughs> company i ever seen in my life like they get away with murder bro like they don't care what like <laughs> man i'm trying not to take it to a place that i don't want to take it with sony but it's just getting it's getting too out of hand it's like the ponies and the fanboys are backing them up when they know it's wrong and they're hurting the rest of the gaming community because you're telling them that it's okay to continue to make remakes, remasters, keep going back into the past, pulling these things out like it's back to the future. Like, no, that's not okay. We're paying you top dollar. We're paying you a premium price tag. We want to see a premium product that we're buying from you. We don't want to see these lazy gaming creators that don't want to get off their lazy and make games what the hell are they doing over there at sony come on man like for real bro like it's getting it's getting to the point where it's just it's it's out of hand now it's like it's out of the gaming community hand sony is just drifting away doing their own thing and they're like they're losing contact with the gaming community it's like they're just drifting off in their own little world nobody can't say anything to them they're so cocky, so arrogant. They could just look at their gaming community and be like, so we can do what we want to. Pull up. If you want to do something about it, pull up. We got billions over here, okay? On top of billions. So what are you going to do about it? You're still going to like our AAA bangers. The, the, the fanboys are still going to support it. So so what if you don't like it? We got another gazillion people that love it. But they that's the point. They don't want to listen to... They don't want to listen to the crowd that's talking sense. They want to listen to the people that's telling them what they want to hear. Like it's like a, it's like you have an argument with somebody, and that person only wants to hear the part that agrees with them. You get what I'm saying? It's not like it's a, um, it's like you having a disagreement with somebody. And they call somebody on the phone and they say, hey, what do you, how do you feel about this? And they agree with that person because they know if they disagree with that person, now it's going to be some smoke. It's going to be a conflict. So they don't want to disagree with them because they know they're so stubborn and stuck in their ways. You know, and then being that it's money involved, it's greed. Greed can blind somebody and take them to another dimension that you can't bring them back from. You get what I'm saying? It's like it, it puts them on a high pedestal, like they're on top of a mountain. So you really can't talk to them. You can't communicate with them because they think that they're better than you because they have more than you. So they feel like you're less than. So you feel like, okay, if you feel like I'm less than you, why do you want my opinion? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that makes them feel good because it boosts their ego and their confidence, you know, and makes them keep going because that's it's like fuel. It's like gas. It's like a beautiful woman. If you don't tell them that they're beautiful, they're gonna go crazy. So it's the same thing with Sony and the ponies. Sony ponies. 
<laughs> the ponets. <laughs> You know, <laughs> in a My Little Ponies, <laughs> you're taking all our games away. But we love these remakes. <laughs> we love the remakes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Like, what, what sense does this make? You just keep letting your fan base down. Like, every announcement. Like, it's it'll be something that kind of raised the bar for Sony. Like Sony announced something that it'd be sounding good at first. It'd sound good at first. And then it'll slowly start drifting to something like, wait a minute, this don't this not sounding right. And it started becoming more anti-consumer. Like the whole entire PlayStation Star program, they got different tiers or whatever. You know, you pay this amount, you get good customer service, you know. You buy a PS5 for the markups and the price that went up in other countries. If the PS5 breaks, you have to have purchased five games, four or five games. Then you have to basically rank up on the games in order to get good customer service. Now, <laughs> they just took anti-consumer to a whole nother level. like. These are different countries here. Like you may, I may just have the U.S. that may be the biggest audience, but other countries are listening and they're watching at us, and, and they want to hear our opinion. Like, how do we feel about them getting messed over by Sony? And I said I would feel the same way. Like I don't want to see them, like U.K. Uh, our Asian brothers and sisters, uh, Australia or India or Brazil or Mexico. I don't want to see all of my brothers and sisters out there get messed over either. That makes me feel bad because we are the, the content creators and we have the voice to defend them and speak up because we have a large audience. We have a big audience that listen to us, that love us. And so they're gonna stand behind us right or wrong, win, lose or draw, up and down, side to side. They're gonna rock with us through thick and thin, rain, sun, snow, shine. They're gonna stick with us and they don't care, you know, because they, they know we have the, we still are people and we feel how they feel. So we still have our best interest in them, but, now Sony is taking it to another level. It's like you want to charge us a premium price tag, bro, for Horizon Zero Dawn, but you don't want to give us a premium experience for the price that we're paying. This is not the same, bro. This is not the same Sony. These it, out here in these gaming streets, I don't know. Like I said before, Jim Ryan. You are the biggest idiot <laughs> in the gaming industry until you prove me different. What? What is this? What are you doing? Like, what? What are we really, really, really? What? What are we doing with PS5, bro? Like, I'm expecting so much more. I'm expecting when when PS5 first dropped. Like, I didn't get. Okay, they dropped so many games and now they spoiled everybody. So everybody was like, okay, this is what we can expect from PS5. Wow, banger after banger. Okay, let's do this, okay? So Jim Ryan was looking good like the first year with PS5. Now, from there to now, Bro, it's a drastic change. I don't even know how I can even look him in his eyes and say, bro, you're doing a good job. Can you really, even if you're a pony or, or a Sony pony or a fanboy, can you really honestly look Jim Ryan in his face and say, bro, you're doing a good job. Even if you're just a, <laughs> even, even if you're just a casual gamer, can you really Look Jim Ryan in his eyes His two little beady eyes And be like yo bro you are really doing A terrific job I just want to say keep doing what you're going Keep doing the remakes and remasters Really Horizon Zero Dun Bro this is like why would you even need To remake that game 2017 It should be going into the next generation The PS6 Not 5 That lets me know That Man, bro, 
This is the worst generation I have. Next to PS3, I would say it went PS1, PS2, and PS4. PS3 and PS5 is the worst two generations PlayStation ever had because of Sony mismanagement at the front office. Like I said before, greed will always bring you down at the end. Like it's cool at first because everything looks like a shiny diamond. Everything looks beautiful. But then when it starts falling apart, it starts looking ugly, mildew, it starts to stink. It start to live, leave a bad taste in your mouth. Then you start looking like, what are we doing? Like when you have Sony fans, not fanboys, it's a difference. You have two different communities here. You have fanboys, Sony ponies, and you have to split the deck. Then you have fans that just like, you know, like PlayStation. Like I like PlayStation, but I'm not a fanboy of it. Like I would never sit here and give everything I had sell my soul for a plastic box like some Sony ponies. They don't care about nothing but PlayStation. Nothing on this planet means more than if you gave them a winning lottery ticket <laughs> with the Powerball and you hit you say, "Hey, would you would you rather have this winning lottery ticket or the PS5?" They're going to take the PS5. That's the die hard that's that's what i'm talking about like people that just live and breathe for playstation like they don't care about nothing those are fanboys that mean nothing that comes out of your mouth will ever make sense to them win lose a draw they're gonna rock with jim ryan and sony so don't argue with them it don't make any sense to argue with somebody that's a brick wall that's why i say just keep take your head and just bash it up against the wall because that's what you're doing if you argue with one of them but man for another remake remake remaster whatever for horizon zero done bro do we really need it ask yourself that do we Come on, we can have what <laughs> the announcement that we were supposed to have, honestly, is that Sony is going to start competing with Game Pass and Call of Duty. Those are the two announcement announcements that all of the PlayStation fans are looking to hear, the fanboys and the Sony ponies, the, the My Little Ponies. Honestly, they, that's what they want to hear. Why do I want to hear a beautiful game? It's a beautiful game. Don't get me wrong. Horizon is one of the most beautiful games on, on console and PC, period. Hands down, it's one of the most beautiful. But competition, it, beauty is not going to win. Beauty is not everything. Like, okay, it's a beautiful game. You Are you giving... If, if, if it's up to the studio, okay, let me put it this way. If it's up to the studio to do that and they don't have any more games on the list that they're gonna make in the next four to five years that's coming out, cool, but they didn't really announce it like that. They just was like, we're out of ideas, so we're just gonna remake Horizon. Like, what? What? <laughs> why don't you why didn't you bring back Heavenly Sword? If you're gonna remake a game, remake Heavenly Sword. Heavenly Sword was pretty much the same thing as Horizon, but it was an older, what, like PS2, PS3, PS2 game. So Heavenly Sword was a beast, but they don't want to remake that game. And you can imagine how Heavenly Sword would look on PS5 right now. Go look it up. If that game looked it like that way back in the day, that just pretty much got rolled off the map, just brushed under the rug, but that game was hella fun, bro. It was, man, look. That's why I say, man, I'm, I'm back from the old school, the retro days, bro. I'm, I remember PS, the first PS1 going up against Nintendo and Sega and all that, Sega Saturn and all that. See, I'm back in those days, but the new generation only knows PS3, PS4, and PS5. So they're like, oh no, it's all about PS5. <laughs> but this is a joke. This is a joke, bro. Like for real. I'm calling I'm calling Jim Ryan and Sony like out to the T. 
10th level, bro. Like, that is bad, bro. If I'm calling you out to, like, 100, bro, like, y'all whack for that, bro. Like, you can't come out with nothing else. You can't, you can't think of nothing else. A billion dollar corporation, you have all of these ideas, content creators, designers, artists, studios that you can bring back. You can't come out with nothing else? Oh man, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it right there, guys. And if you wanna jump into, <laughs> if you wanna jump into the PlayStation ecosystem, I guess you can click the link down in the description if you would like to because obviously all you're gonna get is remakes for this whole entire generation anyways so why not play ps4 ps3 ps2 games that's all we can look forward to with a with a, a crappy garbage you know management up there at sony ain't gonna do nothing right this generation so just pretty much look forward to be disappointed this whole entire generation so if you're a Sony Pony, a PlayStation fan, uh, whatever you are, a gorilla, a, a giraffe, a lion, tiger, a bear, you know, <laughs> you know just, just look to be disappointed this whole entire generation because obviously Jim Ryan don't know what he's doing. Until they get that man up out of there, bro, we're going to be disappointed all the way to PS6. And hopefully, it's, hopefully they make a PS6 after this generation. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, the hearing this announcement, bro. If this is really real, that's coming out, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Like, and Sony, this is not an announcement that I want to hear. Come, not coming from Sony, bro. Nah, man, not, not after the way y'all treating y'all fan base. You jacking the price up to a premium price tag, uh, fifty dollars to a hundred dollars more. For a PS5, seventy dollar games. The build quality is it? It isn't even there. If your PS5 breaks, you can't even get in contact with a customer service. This ain't this ain't it, bro. Like this is not the generation to be a PlayStation fan. Like it's sad, bro. It's sickening. At this point, it's getting every week. It's just disgust. It's disgusting. It's more and more like why? Why do we even try to even talk to Sony at this point? Like, they're so stuck in their ways, bro. They just, those Decepticons don't care about nobody but money at this point. Like, why? Why do we even try, bro? Like, at this point, it just, just it's, I'm about to just throw both hands up with Sony. Like, I'm really just about to be done with them because it, I just don't see them. I don't see them touching the fans. They, they, I'm waiting on that spark. I'm waiting on them to give me that bring that life back to playstation but they're just killing it off bro like everything every announcement is just dry it's sad it's just mediocre it's just like oh we got god of war and then now we're gonna do a remake oh we got spider-man but now we're gonna do a remake it's like what what <laughs> It's like they're taking the easy way out every time. It's like they don't even want to be faced with adversity. They don't want no competition. They don't want to strike back. They don't want to. They don't want. They want it easy. They have gotten so much money over the years, and they're burnt out, and they just became lazy, 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 lazy. Sony is lazy, bro. Like they just. Oh my goodness. They need new management all the way around. Sony. Everybody needs to be replaced at this point. Like, because like I said before, sometimes change is good, but this new Sony is sickening, bro. It's just disgusting to even look at right now. I can't even look at Jim Ryan. That clown. Make sure you smash that like, that subscribe button, click that notification bell so you guys can be notified on all of the new latest and greatest news in these gaming streets. Peace.